Welcome back to the show everyone, Captain Classic here, reporting for duty. Today I'm showing you guys the world's smallest and working Atari 2600. Yes, I know, my green screen skills are impressive, but not as impressive as the world's smallest and functioning Atari 2600 console. And it's so impressive that it's adorable, especially when sitting on top of an actual original Atari 2600 console. It's kind of hard to set it up properly because you have it connected to a tiny, the world's smallest TV as well. And yeah. All right, now I got it all set up here so you guys can see it. Now my only question is, is how are you supposed to fit a 2600 cartridge into this little thing? Like, where does it go? No, I'm totally kidding. It actually uh, has 10 games built into it, and all you do is press this little button on top of the 2600, and there you go, the TV turns on, and you can start playing all your favorite Atari 2600 games. And by all of them, again, I only mean 10 of them. So hopefully your favorite's on here, or else, I don't know what to tell you. It's not the most convenient or easiest way to play Atari 2600, but the fact that it works and just how small it is almost makes it worth just trying. Now, even though that is the case, I will say I think that this was actually not designed for humans. This, I mean, if you have a hamster, your hamster will be happy. Get this for him for Christmas because he's gonna have a load of fun playing Atari 2600. The world's smallest Atari 2600 console, as well as the world's smallest working TV, all packed into one bundle for an efficient price of $20 is totally worth buying just for the sake of owning it. The world's smallest Atari 2600 was released by this company called Super Impulse, who are known for making various toys and collectibles that are microscopic, such as action figures, the world's smallest board games, which would also be interesting to talk about sometime, and of course their line of Tiny Arcade. I'm sure you may have stumbled upon one of these little micro arcade machines at your local Walmart or Target, but the Atari 2600, however, is their first home console that they've done. I'm intrigued to see where they go next. How about the world's smallest Xbox 360? I couldn't imagine playing Halo 3 like this. As I mentioned, this thing comes with 10 built-in games, and they picked some good choices here. There's Centipede, Pong, Missile Command, Asteroids, Combat, Warlords, Millipede, Tempest, and a bonus game, Pac-Man which is the worst version of Pac-Man ever made, but that's why it's a bonus game. I always found it funny when they put bonus game on there just to try to sell more of their product as if it's gonna make a difference. Really, there's 10 games, but when you advertise that it comes with nine games and one bonus game, it sounds more convincing. The word bonus is powerful. This thing runs off three AAA batteries, but they were nice enough to include batteries, which doesn't usually happen very often. It works well, however, the controller is really hard to use because, well, it's way too small. You'll try to move the joystick in one direction, only to accidentally make it go in a different direction. Pac-Man and Asteroids are definitely not the games to play with this little thing. In fact, Probably none of them are, but hey, the fact that you can play them on a one-inch screen is pretty impressive. 
If you're looking for an affordable or convenient way to play Atari 2600, then don't buy this. This thing is such a gimmick. If you want some advice, I'd say pick up a flashback Atari console, or maybe use an emulator, or buy an actual Atari on eBay, anything but this. This thing is definitely just a collector's item, regardless of the fact that it's actually functionable, though that does make it worth buying and makes it really freaking cool. I mean, I couldn't say no, but... You're not going to find me at 3 a.m. with my eyes glued to this dice cube and hamster-sized joystick. And if you are not a fan of micro technology, then just toss this aside and pick up the joystick for your actual Atari VCS video computer system, plug in some Berserk, and have fun. Because that's what I'm about to go do, actually. That actually sounds like a really good idea. Let's play some Berserk. Alright, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Stay tuned, it's gonna get wild.